Hello everyone, welcome to Current Affair MCQ's program. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was, consider the following statements about marine heat waves. 1. An MHW is defined as a rise in sea surface temperature of 3 to 4 degrees Celsius above the average for at least 5 days. 2. Marine heat waves have no significant impact on marine ecosystems or the fisheries sector. Which of the statements given above are correct? 1 only 2 only both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A 1 only. Marine heat waves or MHWs are characterized by a temperature rise of 3 to 4 degrees Celsius of sea surface above the average for a sustained period. Hence statement 1 is correct. MHWs adversely affect marine ecosystems leading to coral bleaching and negatively impacting fisheries. Hence statement 2 is not correct. Hence option A is the correct answer. Now let's begin today's episode. First question is consider the following statements. 1. A mule account is a bank account used to facilitate illegal activities. 2. A money mule is someone who transfers or moves illegally acquired money on behalf of someone else. 3. Transnational cyber criminals use accounts of shell companies and individuals as mule accounts exploiting the bulk payout facility provided by banks. How many of the statements given above are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. The correct answer is option C, all three. The Union Ministry of Home Affairs has issued an alert about illegal payment gateways like Peace Pay, RTX Pay, etc. set up by transnational cyber criminals using mule bank accounts for money laundering. A mule account is a bank account used to facilitate illegal activities. Hence, statement one is correct. A money mule is someone who transfers or moves illegally acquired money on behalf of someone else. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Transnational cyber criminals use accounts of shell companies and individuals as mule accounts exploiting the bulk payout facility provided by banks. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements regarding the Mahadei Wildlife Sanctuary. 1. It is designated as an international bird area for hosting several bird species like Malabar parakeet and Rufus babbler. 2. The Netravati river passes through the century. Which of the statements given above are correct? 1. Only 2. Only both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A. 1 only. Mahadei Wildlife Century Located in the northern part of Goa, Mahadei Wildlife Century is designated as an international bird area for hosting several bird species like Malabar parakeet and Rufus babbler. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Mahadei River, a lifeline of Goa, originates in Karnataka, passes through the century and meets the Arabian Sea at Panji. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Hence, option A is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements regarding parts of the Supreme Court. 1. Article 32 grants the Supreme Court original jurisdiction to enforce fundamental rights. 2. Articles 129 and 142 empower the court to punish for contempt, including contempt of itself. Which of the statements given above are correct? 1. Only 2. Only both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C. Both 1 and 2. Article 32 of the Constitution gives an extensive original jurisdiction to the Supreme Court for enforcement of fundamental rights. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It is empowered to issue directions, orders or writs, including writs in the nature of habeas corpus, mandamus, prohibition, quo warranto and certiorari to enforce them. Under Articles 129 and 142 of the Constitution, the Supreme Court has been vested with power to punish for contempt of court, including the power to punish for contempt of itself. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Next question, consider the following statements about the Bharatiya Antariksh Station, that is BAS. 1. It is India's proposed indigenous space station which will orbit around the moon. 2. The BAS will be used for microgravity experiments and for moon observation. Which of the statements given above are correct? Only one, only two, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. That is both the statements are incorrect. BAS is India's proposed indigenous space station for scientific research. 
the bas will orbit the earth at a height of around 400 to 450 kilometers hence statement 1 is not correct the bas will be used for scientific research including microgravity experiments earth observation and fostering innovation and statement 2 is not correct hence option d is the correct answer next question consider the following statements regarding simlipal national park one it has been part of unesco's biosphere reserves list since 2009 and was designated as a tiger reserve under project tiger two simlipal is home to ghadiyals in its rivers which of the statements given above are correct only one only two both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option a only one in 2009 unesco included simlipal national park in its list of biosphere reserve it was designated as a tiger reserve under project tiger in 1973 hence statement 1 is correct simlipal is home to the magar crocodiles not ghadiyals hence statement 2 is not correct simlipal tiger reserve and national park is located in odisha's mayurbhanj district hence option a is the correct answer next question which of the following best describes the recent supreme court judgment in omkar ramchandra gold versus union of india regarding disability assessment for medical students the judgment states that having a benchmark disability is sufficient to disqualify a candidate from medical studies it directs assessment boards to evaluate a candidate's functional ability to study medicine not just their disability level and provide clear reasons for disqualification if needed it restricts courts from ordering a reevaluation of for disability assessments and upholds the opinion of assessment boards as final or the judgment discourages the provision of reasonable accommodations for students with disabilities in medical fields due to undue hardship the correct answer is option b it directs assessment boards to evaluate a candidate's functional ability to study medicine not just their disability level and provide clear reasons for disqualification if needed it directs assessment boards to evaluate a candidate's functional ability to study medicine not just their disability level and provide clear reasons for disqualification if needed the judgment emphasizes that a benchmark disability alone is not enough to disqualify a candidate from pursuing medicine the judgment allows courts to order a reevaluation if the assessment lacks proper reasoning the judgment encourages the consideration of reasonable accommodations for pwd candidates unless it imposes undue hardship hence option b is the correct answer next question regarding cyber crime consider the following statements one the state should rely on social media platforms to monitor and remove posts related to cyber threats and digital frauds two digital threats and scams are solely the responsibility of individuals who should protect themselves by improving their digital literacy and awareness which of the statements given above are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option d neither one nor two that is both the statements are incorrect cyber crime it is not the role of social media platforms to monitor or determine the seriousness of digital threats rather platforms can assist in investigations by providing information when requested hence statement 1 is not correct while individual awareness is beneficial the responsibility for cyber crime prevention and justice rest with the state hence statement 2 is not correct hence option d is the correct answer next question regarding the reserve bank of india's flexible inflation targeting that is fit framework consider the following statements one the fit framework specifies an inflation target of 4% with a tolerance range of 2% to 6% to be reviewed every 5 years to underfit the target is primarily focused on core inflation excluding food and energy prices to, to avoid fluctuations in essential commodities pre since adopting fit india has consistently maintained inflation below 4% on average each year how many of the above statements are correct only one only two all three or none the correct answer is option a only one RBI's fit framework RBI's fit framework targets a 4% inflation rate with a tolerance band of plus minus 2% to be reviewed every 5 years hence statement 1 is correct the RBI's fit framework targets headline inflation which includes food and energy prices 
not just core inflation. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Inflation under FIT has not consistently stayed below 4%. It has fluctuated within the tolerance band. Hence, statement 3 is not correct. Hence, option A is the correct answer. Next question regarding the relative economic performance of Indian states 1960-61 to 2023-24 report. Consider the following statements. 1. There is a significant disparity in economic performance between Indian states with western and southern states generally outperforming eastern states. 2. Coastal regions tend to perform better economically with investment being more concentrated in urban conglomerates and richer states due to higher profitability. 3. The widening economic divide among states is largely due to the effects of liberalization policies since 1991 which favored the organized sector. How many of the above statements are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option C, all three. Relative economic performance of Indian states 1960-61 to 2023-24 report. The report highlights the significant disparity in economic performance between Indian states with western and southern states generally outperforming eastern states. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Coastal regions tend to perform better economically with investment being more concentrated in urban conglomerates and richer states due to higher profitability. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The report attributes the widening economic divide among states largely to the effects of liberalization policies since 1991 which favored the organized sector. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Last question regarding Myanmar, consider the following statements. 1. ASEAN's 5 points consensus implemented in 2021 calls for ending violence, inclusive dialogue and humanitarian aid in Myanmar. 3. ASEAN's consensus-based decision-making model allows individual member countries to take unilateral actions regarding the Myanmar crisis without unanimous approval. 3. India's Myanmar policy is influenced by its Act East policy with Myanmar serving as a vital link to ASEAN. How many of the above statements are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option B, only two. ASEAN's five-point consensus implemented in 2021 calls for an end to violence, inclusive dialogue and humanitarian aid in Myanmar but has largely failed due to junta's non-cooperation. Hence, statement one is correct. ASEAN's consensus model requires unanimous agreement limiting individual unilateral actions by member states on regional issues. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. India's approach to Myanmar primarily revolves around its Act East policy, viewing Myanmar as a crucial land bridge to ASEAN nations and maintaining a balanced relationship with the military regime. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Hence, option B is the correct answer. Now moving on to practice question, consider the following statements. One, the earliest literature, the Rig Ved, reveals that some kind of population count was maintained in India during 800 to 600 BC. Two, the Earth Shastra by Kautilya, written in the 3rd century BC, prescribed the collection of population statistics as a measure of state taxation policy. Three, the first complete consensus of an Indian city was conducted in 1830 by Henry Walter in Dhaka. How many of the above statements are not correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? Send answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.